Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft Teams update for May 2020. Um, this will be a very quick video just going over some of the new features that have gone into Microsoft Teams that you guys might find useful. Um, and if you do like the video, please click on the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell if you want to be updated um, with all of our latest content. Um, and with that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here I am just within my calendar and if I go to a new meeting, I'm just going to set up a meet now. I'll um, turn off my camera there and keep the audio device on um, and join now. Okay, so here I am inside a meeting. Um, there's a new feature here which basically is called raise your hand. This raise your hand function basically tells the um, meeting organizer that you may have a question, you want to put your hand up in essence, like as if you were in a classroom, you raise your hand and it basically draws attention to your um, meeting organizer whoever is hosting your particular meeting um, so it's quite a useful feature obviously i haven't had much of a chance to actually use it myself um, but it does sound like something that is going to be very useful if you have a lot of people within your meetings which brings me on to the second update so the second update that we have is around the number of video feeds that go into your um, meeting so if you have um, large amounts of um, attendees in your meeting, um, what you tend to find is only four um, people who are the most active or the last active individuals within your meeting are the camera feeds that you see. Microsoft Teams has now expanded that so now we can see nine um, camera feeds for the nine um, attendees who have last participated in the meeting and basically the way that that works is um, when you speak to um, or speak in the meeting and it picks up your voice through the uh, microphone um, then your camera feed gets highlighted within um, the screen itself and there's up to nine of those camera feeds going into one single screen which is um, an update that um, has been sought after by many people using Microsoft Teams um, mainly because um, only having four camera feeds is a little bit limiting um, nine is definitely a step in the right direction still see nothing compared to zoom but um, it's definitely a step in the right direction Okay, so the next um, thing that I can't actually see yet in my version of Teams, but there's an update coming that basically um, has your pre-meeting um, screen set up. So you can um, do a, a, alter a lot more settings before you actually go into the meeting. Um, so things like, you know, before when you can set up your standard meeting, you have the ability um, in the lobby, if you will, um, to edit, you know, you want your camera on, you want your microphone muted, etc. Um, but there's more settings now coming to the uh, lobby section of Microsoft Teams before you actually get into the meeting itself, um, which is going to be a game changer in a lot of different aspects. Um, so that's definitely one to be watching out for. Um, on the next update, which is something I am a, a lot more excited about, and that is to do about um, pop-out boxes. So even within your Microsoft Teams um, video chats, you can actually pop those video chats out and have lots of different windows going on. Um, they've actually now got it to a place where you can have multiple um, video calls going on and you can flick between the various meetings as you need to attend. Um, so you could be in four or five different meetings at the same time and flick between each one as needed, um, which is an awful good feature. Um, but the other one that I just wanted to point out here was if you click over on the ellipsis of a chat message, you get the ability to pop that message message out and by popping that out you then have this window that you can move around your screen that's independent to your standard Microsoft Teams window and what that means um, is that you're able to actually have um, permanent chat windows open if you're constantly chatting to a specific individual while still working within Microsoft Teams and this is going to be a huge feature um, because it allows you to um, how do I say it? Um, it allows you to basically use Teams as a portal into a lot of other Microsoft applications while still streamlining the other parts of Teams that you use a lot. So for example, if you've got video chats going on and chat messages, um, but yet you still want to access a 
um, Excel document that's on SharePoint via Teams, you could have all three of those things operating and running at the same time. Um, so these pop-out windows are absolutely fantastic. I will probably um, do a dedicated video specifically around those pop-out boxes um, because they are going to be a game changer for a lot of people. Okay, the other thing um, on the list of updates is something called Microsoft Lists. This is something I haven't had a chance to look at yet, but from my understanding of it, it is um, definitely something that is going to help organize and structure out um, a lot of the meetings that we have in Microsoft Teams and the, it's going to be very interesting to see how those Microsoft lists integrate across other applications. Um, it's almost it sounds almost like something that's coming in to um, handle certain elements of OneNote and things like that. So um, I will do a video around the Microsoft lists in the very near future and to see how that integrates in with Microsoft Teams. Um, and that is it, guys. I just wanted to kind of quickly touch base on a few of the uh, really exciting features within Microsoft Teams. Um, and if you did find this useful, please click the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell. Um, it means a lot to the channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.